music has always had a visual component. Elvis had his hips and Jimi Hendrix had his lighter fluid. What we love is chasing our, our creative ideas. Our Rube Goldberg video took about six months. Showing up at a giant warehouse with 60 engineers and my dad and my roommate and being like, let's play with marbles and, and, and knock down books. And I mean, it's like, that's my job? Awesome. Rock and roll was supposed to be about rebellion once upon a time. I think there's a lot more kind of like of that, of the just like devil may care, who gives a fuck spirit. It, running around technology some days than there is a, around the music community. Like every time we make a video, we invite people to make their versions of that video or to sort of rethink the way our videos exist. We were on a, a, a major label for nine years or something, but we've always wanted to make things our own way and do things ourselves. And um, it's a lot easier for us now that we're independent because we can sort of do things however we want. And what YouTube allows for is a, a, a whole different way of conceiving of that artwork and all different spaces to work that artwork in. You know, what was so amazing about, about all the artists that we idolize is that they're always pushing the boundaries. And now that the boundaries are so much wider and so much more fluid, there's a lot more pushing to do and it's really fun.